If Deku had Ten Commandments abilities or powers, and we left it at the USJ. So the USJ happens. This will be a long part because right now I'm going into details about battles and stuff. And I'm trying to add in Elizabeth and Kirishima and Deku or Kenshin and stuff. And if any, I'm still going to call him Kenshin or Deku sometimes. But I'm going to say because he did go to school with him. Some people in their class called him because he did show off a little more of his quirks during preschool time. Saying, so people called him also called him Deku. Saying that he can do anything because he had so many quirks and stuff. So yeah, they're at ESJ and Henshin says, are there supposed to be villains? And he sees down, so I asked if you're doing that. He says, no. Or 13 says, tells him about the her quirk. And I'm going to say Ida or somebody in the class say, doesn't Deku have like one of the abilities? And... Deku says, yeah, I do. It's just practically the same. And 13 asks to show him, show her. He creates a black hole in his hand. And she asks, why is he not sucking any way in? He says, I can control it. I can control how strong the force is. But this one's mostly meant to suck in light attacks that I made. He has light attacks. He says that pretty much light Light corks are practically my weakness because they burn me easily more than they usually would. And technically, I am stronger during night, he says. And there is, and then this is new information to everybody else and saying that he's weakened during the day so he would be stronger during the night. And then he asks, Why'd you create this? To, and he says, To train with um, Elizabeth. We yeah, so Elizabeth and she walks up and he says to use your light attack. And she shoots a light attack directly in the air and the portal sucks in the light. He's saying the only way somebody can survive this attack is if somebody can either withstand the force of force of sucking light or is faster than light. And that's when he says, that's why I'm immune to it, if I would full power with it. And they ask the mean to it. He says, if somebody had the power to increase gravity by a million, I could be still standing. And stuff, so yeah. So, when do they go to, then, I'm going to say Ida says... Or is there villains? And are they supposed to, this is supposed to be rescue test, not villains. And they see the villains. And I'm going to say that this happens in... There's people from Overhaul, if you guys didn't know about them. With guns walking out also. So, I'm going to say they start shooting at the heroes and, and students try to wipe out their corks, but these ones are weaker because it's more early, so I only give them an hour or a 30 minute time stamp because these are just prototypes and they're trying to test them if they work. So when they shoot this, Deku says, um, God, purgatory, fire, shooting out fire, enveloping all of them, wiping them out, and they tell that those bullets were normal, weren't normal bullets. And he shows them, and he's, because I'm going to say he, like, grabbed one some with darkness, because I did give him darkness, even though I said I wasn't. And he shows him this, and he, and he says it must be some kind of drug to either, I'm um, like, he says either to knock somebody out or do something else to them. He has to do something else, and he says, because his abilities are not quirks, he is a demon, technically. And if it was a quirk, it would be mutation and stuff. But yeah, I made him a demon in this. And he says, 
and he tells somebody also yeah, yeah and he says not to get hit by them but this is when the portal comes but you know how 13 did that um, black hole thing but then Deku whenever it's about to hit her in the back he uses his own black hole sucking in that black hole while sucking in him but he can't counterattack this because Deku is immune to this and he moves it around like really fast. And this is whenever he says, and then this is whenever the portal disappears and 13 puts away her poor black hole. And this is whenever a thunderstorm appears in the sky. And because the dude has a metal thing on this and he says lightning strike. Deku, um, Kenshin does with, like, a portal in the air, shooting out lightning, because this was one of the abilities of the Ten Commandments. One of them could do this. Hitting him, I'm gonna say, after he brought out the Nomu. So he's knocked out and all that. So, whatever. He's, he goes off, and because he can, like, because it's not a cork, he gets shot by one of the bullets, but he doesn't pass out or anything. Not pass out, but doesn't lose his abilities. I want to say, he also shot her door open and stuff. And I'm going to say, Elizabeth is protecting everybody from attacks by using her light shield and move. And so is Kurushima, because Kurushima's hardening is immune to it. And because it is as strong as Red Riot. So when this happens. And he spreads out his hair. And all that. And I would just say. Kurosima hair grows really fast. And that's. And I'm going to say he has to cut it every day. So his hair is grown out to at least. Um, you know the other dude with the hardening cork. But yeah. So they do this and. He's protecting them, and so is Elizabeth, and she can, like, shoot consecutive shots, and she's shooting, like, little laser beams hitting them consecutively, and so it, like, multiplies their, how many beams she has. So you just see a whole bunch of the files getting broke with her, like, light shot, I guess. It's kind of like, like, lock-on. And she shoots like a beam of light, hitting one consecutively, um, making it stronger and bigger and stuff. Then she splits it in half again, creating more light. So you just see like light going everywhere, destroying these files or bullets. Deku or Kinshun's flying through using Dark Nebulia and sucking all of them while using lightning strikes. And people say, does he also have lightning? And yeah, and stuff. And they're wondering how many more courts does he have. Then he creates two black swords and he starts running through. Or I'm going to say he can make weapons out of it. Not just dark swords. Because like, just like Maliotis, if he used like a proper weapon, he'll kill somebody. So I'm going to say... He makes a dragon hilt sword every time he uses it. And then, out of nowhere, plants start coming behind him. And he says, plant monsters. Making plants come out. Or like, plant creation. You know how the first king of fairies had the ability to make stuff for all plants? I'm just going to say, he makes plant monsters and they go running off and they start smacking villains around and stuff and stuff and he holds back a lot because like if he uses his max power of these abilities to kill people and stuff because he kind of like if you added all the commandments powers together and put them into Maliotis and you put that dude into um um my hero, you would pretty much kill anybody in one shot. 
So yeah. So yeah. Then this is happening and I'm gonna say some bullets are flying at him. And this is whenever because I'm gonna see they shot him in the back and he knows half of their attacks came and hurt him and if they do cut him, they're all gonna be scratches. So he takes these bullets to the back and they go into him and they say, Oh, we finally got the kid's cork away. They go to jump him with their corks. This is whenever darkness appears. And this is whenever claws grab them. And then he says, Demons rise with um 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 two gray demons rising up towering above them and they're looking at him and he says attack and these gray demons go around I'm gonna say there is cork strong enough to destroy them but only like a few of them so they go around smacking villains and people were horrified because he says demons rise creating demons and they're thinking about the holy war about there is corpses of gray demons like that and they're thinking because there wasn't ten commandments there was like this one dude that could like make demons they said and he had a demon army and they're thinking that he might um be the it might be like his ancestor and stuff so yeah, these great demons go around and stuff. The Nomu's out, so I'm gonna say the Nomu can punch the great demons' heads off. And Tomara's telling them to kill the demons and stuff while I was freaking out in the back. This is where Kenshin activates his, like, his stage two mark on his forehead. And he starts smiling. And then... All of a sudden, the demons get brought in flames. And he says, I got this. He goes flying off. Hitting people with his dragon hilt sword. So all they see is this black figure flying through the sky. And people getting punched in the face. And getting sent flying back. And this is whenever Nomu tries to punch him. But this is whenever... Um, Kenshin grabs him by the fist and twists his arm completely off. You know how about, um, how Sevely Deadly Sins, whenever people twist off arms, it's not like, like, how Kaneki twisted off his, twisted his leg, or anything like that. It's like they cut them straight off. That's how much strength they got. So that happens, and he grabs one leg and tears it off and throws it. And stuff. Then he starts regenerating, and he sees this, and he says, "You must be suffering because those are cries of pain, even or cries of suffering." And this is one of he, he activates like darkness on his legs, and he spins. No, no darkness at all. And he spins, kicking the Nomu's head completely off, sending it flying across the room. And people see this and they think he just killed a villain. And then some people are like, that kid completely tore that, tore that person's head off. And stuff. And stuff. And I'm going to say after that, like one of the heads flies toward the class. And, and what they see is that the head completely burns apart. And then people finally notice that there was black flames on his foot. And stuff, so that head's completely gone. Or not the, like the skin and all that. And left the brain with him grabbing it back. And places it on the Nomo's body. And then, um, Tomara freaks out. And Kurigi wakes up. Kurigi tells him out. out. And this is whenever Deku says, Earth manipulation. Slamming his foot to the ground. While twisting it, making a huge cage spread out of the ground. With Aizawa didn't get hurt, neither did 13. Because Deku kind of like holding them back every time they try to fight. Capturing all the villains and him 
raising his hand up with plants coming out the ground, holding them up in like little balls of earth with three in each one, covering the whole field and stuff. And then he moves his hand, bringing the plants outside with all the, all the heroes saying that this one kid took down everybody there. They have the two weeks off and Deku explain, um, tells them about the Nomu and saying that it was mindless because they're about to arrest him for killing a villain. And I must say, finally, somebody brings up the question, um, are, are you a descendant of the person 3,000 years ago? And then people are thinking about this because it's only one person, Momo, thought about it. And then people thought, what about the girl that had, was like an angel in shot? That was supposedly defeated the demon or they disappeared and stuff. And then, I'm going to say, because there is this picture of one dude with a mark on his forehead just like how Deku or Henshin's mark. And he still has it activated, and somebody pulls up the picture on their phone. And he says, yes, yes, yes. And he asks her, and she says, I don't remember anything. All I remember is people said that technically um, he brought me to a church years ago. Or them two were brought to a church years ago. And... He used his ability to transformation to open up a bar. So yeah, that's first thing goes to the bar and stuff. And it's open all the time throughout this weekend. And him and Kirishima. He sends Kirishima to old friends of him to like the Druids of Maui my hero and tells him to train there while he goes and he's there and he says um tells him to train him and that for two weeks straight that's gonna be end of this video goodbye